If you have recently purchased or acquired a new bike, one of the first upgrades that you might consider making is to fit a bottle cage, because then you'll be able to ride that little bit further in that little bit more comfort because you won't be dehydrated. In this video, we're gonna show you some step-by-step -step guides to follow and make it really easy to do so. To fit a new bottle cage to your bike, you're only gonna need a few things. First off, of course, a bottle cage, but then you'll need either a three, four or five millimeter Allen key as this is what's gonna actually turn the bolts that are in your frame. The bolts, generally speaking, are universal, meaning that any bolts from any bike will fit any other bike. And generally speaking, the bottle cages will come with those bolts as well. These, in our case, are gold. But if they don't come with your bottle cages, they're probably already on your bike. And then finally, a little bit of grease, which I have down here, and a cleaning cloth, just to make sure that the threads and everything else is nice and clean before you apply your new bottle cage. Actually using proper Allen keys is a lot easier than using a multi-tool when it comes to attaching a new bottle cage. That's because a multi-tool can be quite bulky, meaning it's actually quite hard to turn inside of the bottle cage. First thing you need to do is work out what size bolts you currently have inside of your bike. I happen to know that ours are five mil, so I'm simply gonna start unscrewing these with my five mil Allen key in an anti-clockwise direction. I'm gonna be careful not to lose the washer as that's important to go outside of the plastic, which is what the bottle cages are often made of. After you've removed the bolts from your frame, I recommend picking up your cleaning cloth, making sure that if it is a new bike, there are no little bits of paint that have worked their way into the threads or no other bits of dust or any other contaminants. You wanna make sure threads are always nice and clean. Once you've done that and you've rubbed the bolts, the threads on your bolts, it's now a good time to apply a little dab of grease onto each bolt. Once you've done all of that, you're then gonna to want to remove your bottle cage from whatever packaging is come on. Often it's mounted onto a piece of cardboard with a couple of bolts and some nuts on the back. Try not to lose those because you might want them in the future. When it comes to mounting your new bottle cage, make sure you get the correct orientation. The most intelligent person I know, who was my coach for many years, once fitted an aero bottle cage upside down purely because he thought it was more aesthetically pleasing. When he turned up at the training camp with it like that, we, of course, all laughed him out of the room. He's never been forgiven it for it either. So make sure you get your bottle cage the correct way up. When it comes to attaching your new bottle cage to your bike, make sure that that little washer is on the external side of the nut, as this is what's gonna help clamp down on your bottle cage against the frame. I'd always recommend putting the bolts into the bottle cage first and then attaching your Allen key, just like that, to the top bolt. And then simply and gently find the threads. At this point, you want to be really careful not to turn the thread with too much force because if it's not aligned correctly, you will very easily strip it as there is a lot of leverage even on this small Allen key. When it comes to making the final tightening movement, you actually don't need to tighten your bolt cage too much. If you do have a torque wrench at home, around two newton meters is generally speaking more than enough. There's not a lot of pressure on a bottle cage, so you just want to make sure it's not rattling and there's no chance of the bolts working loose. Now that's bottle cage number one. I feel that this bike is made for adventure and it could probably do with a second one. When it comes to fitting your second bottle cage, you'll notice that things get that little bit more fiddly. And that's because in this small part of the triangle of the frame, there isn't actually that much space. And in fact, my large Allen key struggles to make a complete turn without grazing the other bottle cage. So, finger tightness. It's always a lot easier to undo things with your fingers at this point. The same principles apply when fitting the second bottle cage as the first one. First, put the bolt into the bottle cage with the washer on the external side so that it clamps down against the frame, and then introduce it to the bike and locate it with your fingers. Start turning the threads until you feel that it's caught. Again, this should be nice and smooth and all the threads should have been checked to make sure they're clean. Do the same with the bottom one. Now this does get a little bit trickier here because as I mentioned before, there's a lot less space when it comes to fitting the second bottle cage, but with a little bit of patience, it's not gonna take you that much time. Again, depending on the size of your bolt, you may find it easy enough to finger tighten this all the way until the threads are right at the end, and then simply nick it up to that two newton meters with the Allen key at the end. And there you have it. You should now be able to carry up to a liter and a half of water with two 750 mil bottles on your bike. If you've recently picked up your first bike and fitted some bottle cages, let us know down in the comments below. And for more tuitional videos from beginner to advanced, click just down there right now.